Nobody else that's yeah. looking I forward think that to.
how you gonna how you gonna
So we're in a, your, your, the staff is in a very big information gathering phase right now. Exactly. And I know that is going to be a behemoth of a task to try to get your arms around it. And then our consultant was very keen on being able to winnow through that and pull out the pertinent stuff. Exactly. Um, I can't imagine you're going to put all this data or make that accessible, but somehow somebody is going to edit that down and bring forth the stuff that everybody feels is important to well, one of the nice things is yeah. we actually, the, the data that we're given by the state mm -hmm. is all on a state website. Uh -huh. So we're, we're going to provide that, that link. Yeah. So anyone who wants yeah. to go through yeah. and, and do the work, yeah. we're doing yeah. it. Because we, I mean, that's certainly what our intent yeah. is to have the information just be provided so people can use it. Yeah. We don't want to try to yeah. say, hey, here's what you should think about housing and yeah. here's what's happening in demographics and everything else that's happening. So. Um, that is an important piece of people. Yeah. We want to be sure we're providing it in both ways. And here's what you know, Committee X or Committee Y thinks about, i.e., right. how do we continue to preserve the history? Mm -hmm. How do we you know, continue to preserve the quasi-rural character of the town? Right, right. Those kinds of things. So yeah. there'll be those, I see those things coming to us as a long-range plan. We can say, you know, wrap our hands around. Right, and I, you know, I have to admit, we I just received from the, the consultants, um, you know, so the material that they use, we haven't had it quite yet, so we've got them um, that that they used at the uh, public meeting, so we can post all of that, so we can go through and and I went through that again, um, actually yesterday, and uh, I was reminded about, you know, um, you know, really the essence of the plan, what's really important about this plan. Is plan is, keep reminding yourself, you know, it's policy level. We're not in the implementation stage, we're not in the detail. It's the vision, it's the broad policy implementation, I mean the broad policies, and really capturing um, the character of Scarborough. And it's also about finding those interconnected strengths, if you will, um, so we're not necessarily going to look at only at land use. You know, I think the way it's been phrased is to look at the built environment. There's a lot of pieces to the to the built environment. Mm -hmm. um, it's not just it's not just land use um, in particular. So it's it's structured very differently, and um, I think that was important for people to understand too. And I do think having this uh, piece um, that they that they went through at the meeting um, will be helpful to yeah. people. I think one thing that would be a lot of places don't, or they're starting to, but multicultural, multicultural setting now. I mean, we're certainly multicultural. <coughs> you know, it is changing the way we do it. And multi generational and multi everything. <laughs> um, so it's important that we uh, acknowledge all of this. But yeah, I agree. It's a behemoth task, and I feel like. We just need to sort of, you know, like kneading bread, we just need to get our hands Step into it. start, yeah. you know, shaping it, yeah. you know, into things that start to make sense. So they can say that as I read the um, outreach and engagement program objectives, I'm thinking words, 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 yeah. words, 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 and I just stop reading it. Right. Because we're going to have to do all the rest of it. And then we'll exactly. And I have to do Yeah, yeah. But if by including how you're going to go about doing it, that makes it easier to read. So I do think there is going to be an element to what we do over the next year and a half that feels like, all right, where, where are we going, where are we going, and then we're going to gain some traction and really be like, whoa, here's a lot of stuff to sort of get ourselves out from under and deal with. Exactly. And I think the consultant's job is really to help us, I would think so. you know, get out of the, the details and up and to the policy piece, and, and um, that's really the, the main part of their job is to keep us focused and, and uh, moving forward. So, um, should we go on to the, just the pieces of the, the communication methods? Uh, we did talk a little bit about project branding, and I know you guys are less enthusiastic about anything cute, so I think we uh, went back to the basics, and everybody's happy with the
Comprehensive Plan 2018 and the Mars? Absolutely. That's good. Yeah, and actually I think uh, I do have a, another one that actually has Scarborough uh, written in curve on the top. Uh, so, yeah, so it will, it, it the identifies, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which one would Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, okay. yeah, so that's, that's good and I think our consultants are disappointed and they keep trying to give us things, but we're trying to hold firm. Uh, this is gonna this is gonna be the logo. Everybody's gonna recognize it. Plan is blue, this is the nose. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Um, and so, you know, the other piece that we're we've been promising is web based. We have a rudimentary page up right now. Um, that's really the town fits into the town <coughs> page. Um, you know, we we want to get the basics out there, you know, the purpose and intent of the project, all those I things. I don't have any questions about, um, you know, what's going to be in there. Okay. I'm just concerned, and I don't expect any answers to this, but I'm just concerned that what goes on to that page is done in a way that is not going to be boring, I'm not going to look like an essay, I'm not going to have, you know, you sit down and have three cups of coffee to read your way through it. Um, <laughs> You know, let's, let's make it really interesting. You must have people working for us that can do this, right? I mean, do, are super really clever when it comes to mm -hmm. web page design. Well, this is where I think our, um, the software, the program that we've, we've now, um, uh, that we're going to be working with, um, actually Jay and myself and a few others are getting training on it tomorrow, so we hope we'll have um, the, it's a standalone website that's all about making things very engaging for the public. So it's based on you know multiple squares. So you're just looking at different places. I just, at this point, all I need is just to be able to say yeah. that and know that it's going to be looked at that yeah. way. Because all we need to do is more people to just right. once. We agree. And our consultants will have the ability to be. So it's not just going to be Karen right. and I uploading things, right. but they'll be able to help us keep it dynamic and engaging yeah. and, and it fresh. Is, is it interactive? In other words, it, it is. a specific uh, thing that it tilts it out into different And the areas. link to the social media thing. Mm -hmm. Right. And I, I'm going to, I'll go through some of the um, tools that the website has um, after, but you have, to, you have to take your, you have to take your medicine first. <laughs> 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 The, the strategy, the strategy. So, you know, the first part of this is yes, we're using Facebook. Um, we are using the camp Facebook page, not a separate new Facebook page. It just gets to be confusing. Um, we um, have to then build an email list, an email list. So we have emails from all the people who attended the uh, kickoff. And one of the things we did do at the end of the, uh, or the next day, is we sent out a thank you note to everybody who attended. And we gave them um, both a, a link to the video, should they want to watch it again for some reason. Um, and we gave them the ability to comment directly back to us. Right. And so we did that through uh, constant contact. So now we have a distribution list that is unique to the comp plan. Um, so we can push out uh, information at any point in time in a newsletter format that will have the comp plan branding. And sometimes it'll be just really simple. We post mm -hmm. something new on the website, go check it out, or Planet Blues is coming up, you know, these, these types of things. Anything can be pushed out. Um, so we do have that distribution list all done. We will continue to use traditional media. Um, you know, there's no reason why we're not getting coverage by, um, on our milestones, you know, um, by the local papers. So we'll be doing that. Again, we talked about the library. Um, we are posting things on the separate community calendar. That's scarboroughcalendar.com and scarboroughcalendar.org. Um, and then we are doing these council briefs. I'll have another one for you guys to look at um, tomorrow. And once you guys review it, um, we'll send it off to the council. So we're keeping them informed about what we're doing. Um, and then the engagement methods. Obviously, we have to kick off the event. I did give you. Um, we don't necessarily have to go through them all, but I could give you all the detailed comments um, that uh, the consultant took down from uh, the, the, uh, the meeting. Um, and so we will be posting those. And I think they really fell into um, a couple of different types of categories. One, I think there, there was this, well, how, how can we participate? And so one of the things
things when we launch the um, Engagement HQ website next week. Um, we're going to send everybody a link and they'll see all the different ways that they can connect with the comp plan. Um, so we'll be getting that out to them directly. Um, you know, the other thing that they did talk about was the Long Range Planning Committee um, particular, in particular, and I think we answered a lot of questions at the, at the committee, uh, or at the uh, event, uh, and then the other thing we've done is we've decided to um, do the evening meetings, and that I think is, um, you know, partially a result of this, uh, making sure that people understand what the comp plan, or what the Long Range Planning Committee is, is doing. So it'll be your your comprehensive plan meetings will be taped and broadcast, and uh, that should make everyone have evening meetings. <coughs> and there'll be the availability for public comment at any meeting. Or at any time through the website. Sure, absolutely. So strikes and they can pop on. Yeah, absolutely. And so this is the, the area um, highlighted in yellow is one of the things I did really want to go through. Um, so we've committed to um, go out and talk to any group that's interested in hearing about this. So we'll contact the service clubs, if a neighbors association wants to meet with us, um, all of these different types of groups that, that we'll go out to. We just want to have a simple message though. We want to uh, introduce the comp plan and how to follow what's happening. Um, and then we do have a few questions. So these are, are some suggestions and this is something that I'd like to um, definitely flesh out with you because these are what Jay and I will be going out and talking to people with. And I am also hoping that we can occasionally get some of the Long Range Planning Committee members to um, come out to a meeting or so. Um, so if we can maybe start with the, you know, um, this is the, the most basic, how do you describe Scarborough's community character? But one of the things that I think Judy and I were talking about before is that a hard question? So, you know, it's like, how do you break that down? I mean, if we have, if we had to ask everybody on the table, how would you, that's worth doing, how would you answer the question? Is that a problem? That it's, <coughs> that it's complex like that? That's I what I'm wondering. My sense is it isn't. Okay. And I, the reason I'm saying that is I'm, I'm reading again this thing about who are you, Lurvik, and um, we, we would prefer that we have um, participation with the community at large over a large community of people giving input. Um, if, we if we go into people's homes or into their meetings or whatever, prepare to tape it. Yep. Okay? And let them just go. Sooner or later, there's going to start to arise certain things that are consistent. You know, five people say the same thing, and then there's 16 things that don't that only get said once. Mm -hmm. You know that kind of thing. I think that this is a it is important, if for no other reason, than to take care of the we want to really talk about what is important to us. Okay. And if it takes a long time, it takes a long time. Well, just in that public kickoff and the comments about. Um, Beaches, marshes, mm -hmm. and you know, rural characters. That comes up a lot. You know, so that's you know, you I'm get not too sure about that. the bee. Well, okay. Why is it important that we have one word? <sighs> that's always me. So I'm thinking about marketing. So I like the I like I like the one word thing. So I could like I could make a um, I could make a word. I, <laughs> <laughs> I could make a you know a a, a um, a wordle with all of these words that people come up with for Scarborough. It was. I would like it to be the last one. Then. Okay. Because you're going to get all kinds of words being shot up. That's kind of fun, though. It is, but I think it should be. You yeah, have to write a board and yeah. post it, and yeah. then come back together and see. Yes. Yeah. Prioritize and. Yeah. And it's pretty hard. I mean, I I sat down. I sat down several times trying to write what. It means to me, and I've lived here 65 years, so I've got a lot of data back there. Yeah. Well, I just wonder if we want to sort of do that if it's easier just to have three by five cards and a bunch of pens, send them around, bring them back. Yeah, and just yeah. I think and that's read through them. Say, all right. I like that. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That's and, great. and like you said, if you have a room of hopefully 30 or 40 people, you can read those cards very quickly, and you oh, yeah. can quickly find out, hey, we have 10 that said, yeah. you know, open space is important, or we had. Or hey, there really wasn't any trend here. Wow. Right. So, I think that worked really well. 
from a from a different perspective, I guess uh, another way to ask would be for those that moved here, what drew you to Scarborough? Uh -huh. For those that live here, what keeps you in Scarborough? Oh, I like that. And then in the end, has it met your expectations? And in, in your, you know, obviously like if you stay here, it met your expectations. Mm -hmm. But um, Scarborough draws people for, for 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 reasons. I know why I came here. Uh -huh. um, and other people mm -hmm. probably come for a lot of the same reasons, but uh, we stay here because of... That's a very good way to... I like, I like that. that. Specific yeah. and it leads you to something to look at some specific. Yeah. I really like that. Okay. Okay. It's mm -hmm. thinking more rather than what's the one word. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm still going to ask the one word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I can't. Yeah. What's the one example? In one word, describe what you're doing. I agree. You know, I agree. It's a way of... Right. I agree. You can still get your one word. Don't worry, Karen. I'm not going to deprive you of that. I mean, Rebecca Times brings that out, I mean, because a lot of people got up to speak on the budget and said the reason that mm -hmm. I came to right. Barbara was because of the school system. Okay, and, and number D. That's one D. reason out of? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. What's the one thing you'd like to see more of in Scarborough? And less of in Scarborough? Yeah, I think, I think we can use both. Um, How does this connect back to our legal obligation to to, to the um, the state obligation for a comprehensive plan? Is this just this, this? These are guiding state visions that, that this is about, yeah formulate the mm -hmm. the I structure. Think, yeah. Yeah. The state the state um, just wants you to have a, a public participation strategy yeah. and a vision. Yeah. Um, so this is definitely you know checking two boxes. One, we're talking to people, and two, we're getting them. Mm -hmm. to think about what yep. what's important in Scarborough. Yep. I think the primary thing the state's really looking for in terms of sort of land use, they want to be sure you have sort of the, the growth management plan, you know, mm -hmm. sort of full growth uh, uh, and growth areas, as well as, um, uh, I think that's really the principal thing we're yeah. frankly looking at, and be sure that, you know, yeah. you, you've, looked, you've sort of pulled forth all the data, you know, that's out there and have, that your community has, sort of thought about it when developing your, your land use plan. That, that I think is really the critical check mark that we're looking for now, whereas 10 years ago, they were making sure you, you know, they were check mark, yeah. you know, box, 100 boxes to yeah. be sure it was right. And, um, at this point, I think the state resources are, in, uh, are a lot different than they were. Um, so towns are given a lot more leeway um, from what we're hearing from our, our neighbors and from the folks up in the state. We're a lot more leeway in what we want it to be, less so making it satisfy what the state has want, would want it to be. But there are still little yeah. things we need to have done. Yep. <laughs> have you thought about any, like doing charrettes where small groups work on? I think that's really what Plan of Food is. Yeah. Um, I think that's, that's one of the I used to do with the nursing. We would gather together and there's a game you can play and it's how to build something. Yeah. And uh, halfway through the project, and somebody's been nominated and chair, and you pull that person and put them in another group and give them a new leader, and it's kind of an interesting <coughs> help to having good results. Where do you go, Miss Garvin? Do you want to see your neighbors? I know that's not quite right, right? But what I was trying to get at is what's the what's the third place? Where do people go to? to see other people. So I think neighbors is not the right place. Yeah, and I think that what, what that led me to is, and I think it was part of what we described Scarborough is that it is not a town, it's mm -hmm. five towns under one office. And um, somebody that lives in West Scarborough is not gonna go to the same place right. or even know where the people that are down near the yeah. beach are going. Yeah. So I, they, somehow that can come together, I don't know how. But I think that part of what we have to make sure, that especially people who are fairly new to town, mm -hmm. is that this is a very unique community based on that fact alone. If you said, where do you go to, uh, or frequent to meet uh, with family and friends? I'm not going to try to wordsmith yeah. it. Okay. No, I just, I just think that that's exactly what I wanted to get at because I think people do go to different places and, and part of this is good information for us too because when we want to go back out and get feedback, 
if we want to hit people in North Scarborough, we know where they mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. That's where is the heart of Scarborough? Mm -hmm. but your heart. Your heart, right. Something, yeah, something like that. Right. I just want to make sure that we don't get caught with, well, I, I go to Pat Creek. So. How about connect I'm with other residents? Oh, that, I like that. Where do you go when you want to connect with other Scarborough residents? That's not bad at all. Right? Yeah, that's, like that. that's, that's a great good. Good. And that's exactly what we want. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. There we go. Um, and then we did want. Susan was the only one who gave me some groups to go with, and um, so and and I just started listing some. Um, we want to reach out to. Uh, we, we certainly have some neighborhood groups that are interested. We know senior groups. You know, we can go down to Piper Shores. We can go to the senior lunches. Um, you know, Rick. I don't know whether or not the. You know, it makes sense for us to do a. Um, you know, this type of meeting with, with the land trust board themselves or with a, um, do you have both a, a board meeting and a, uh, annual form? We have a board meeting periodically and an executive committee meeting. Okay. Okay. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, so that's what we're, we're looking for, groups that we can reach out to and, and go to. doesn't mean you won't get pulled in in other ways. Um, but if there are some <coughs> some of those groups that we want to um, hit that that perhaps might not come to plan of Palooza, the tax group, yeah. My question two D. What was it? Two B. Two D. D is to David. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Is the phrase the one thing you intentional? You want to get one thing versus just what would you like to see more of in Scarborough? Yeah, we could do more. We could they could they could give us more than one thing, I guess. Okay. Um, I wonder if that was a lower no, just, just making it more, you know, a little bit more fun. Lower taxes. I think it would say less of less tax. I think it just I think that more and less election in there and um, fewer committees. Fewer, fewer <laughs> committees. <laughs> okay. I've got the more and the less mm -hmm. and we've got to connect with other residents. Um, and moving the one word down. Yeah. It's keeping it at all. So um, you know are there other groups that, that oh, uh, sure. I know there are, there are tons. Uh, we want to make sure, we definitely want to make sure we get out on North Scarborough. North Scarborough Grange is still a viable problem. Well, and that's the other thing. We, we could do, particularly for some place uh, that's, that's a little bit more sparse out in North Scarborough, we could, you know, arrange a meeting and just publish it, you know, publicize it. If you're in North Scarborough, you want to come talk about the comp plan. So I, kind of, yeah, I, I kind of, I, I didn't say anything. I guess I assumed we would be doing that. Yes. I think it's a, an excellent idea. In those. What about the Hayes Beach Association? When you talk about senior groups, are you thinking about, we might go to Piper Shores, we might go to the ones to the other one that's down here off common commercial yeah. common and, yes and then I um, go to the senior lunch that's at Martin's Point and um, we reach out to the WOW group and, and um, see what their advice is for because for a lot of those people aren't likely to come to meetings right <coughs> but like if we went to Piper Shores if they would have us exactly I've got people I've there might go to them at you know at election time right. I, I think no, always like a month exactly. I think Piper Shores does at least a, a monthly um, topic, you know, uh, meeting in, in the afternoon. What are we going like to do with summer residents? <coughs> the summer residents, that is a good question. Going to Higgins Beach, mm -hmm. um, maybe doing one out in Pine Point as well. Um, <coughs> but we also talked about, which you'll see uh, later. <coughs> <laughs> we should dress up the community services bus if 
it's a lettuce because it's new, I think. Um, I'm thinking, you know, maybe it's during Planapalooza, maybe it's the week before. Do a ride, ride around Go out and set up a table, in the, you know, uh, on the vine or, you know, someplace that, you know, a lot of tourists would go and just try to intercept people as they're, you know, as they're going about their, their daily activity. With what, a survey? Yeah, a survey, survey, some some brochures on businesses in Seattle yeah. or you know, Seattle even if it's just it could just be cards too, you know, that we hand out that has the website, the engagement website to say, if you want to find out what's going on in Scarborough and you want to participate, here you go. I really like this with the idea that unfortunately I think it could take a little more effort than than it's going to bring, you know I'm not sure that's true, but you know you how long are you going to be there? Are you going to announce that you're coming? Um, it's be like a food truck. We don't announce. We just go. We just <laughs> <laughs> food Get up food. The company <laughs> truck is going to be, you know. Yeah. yeah. Do we want to cross the neck Because they always have. Some they have the cross neck association. Right. Oh, yeah. And they're always working for things. Yeah. Can we get something in the tax mailings? Thank you for that, Rick. I've always thought we should put something in there. I've heard very, I, I haven't asked in Scarborough. I know some towns are a little bit um, persnickety about putting anything in the tax bill, mm -hmm. but others do. So mm -hmm. I think that's a good question. Tom, 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 I mean, maybe the current concern is if you put something that looks like. I think it's a great idea. You know, not junk mail, but mm -hmm. something that isn't a bill, so I might like conceivably rip it up and think, oh, I don't want to read this. <laughs> <laughs> but the bills are pretty, I mean, the envelope's pretty clear. Tax bill and closed, I think. It says. Anyway, it's certainly one mm -hmm. mailing that's going to go out soon. Yes. You get read. And it goes to every tax paying entity in town. And even if it was that half page, I don't know. Just it's it's worth seeing what we can do. Yeah, well, you know, it's just be something that's a different size. Yeah, know, <laughs> maybe it's just a card with the website. Yeah, you know. yeah. Quad plan process underway, see, you know, website. Yeah, I think that's a yeah. short. Yeah, short. Four or five sentences, period. I I think the idea of the card and referring people to the to the website or yeah. a phone number if they don't want yeah, well, to do that. Uh, and that uh, I would also like to suggest, and again, this may not be in today's world. This may be too old hat, but um, a um, press release, mm -hmm. but with people invited to come here, where we give them the press release as opposed to putting it in the mail and mailing it to them. And I'm thinking about our weekly. You know, one here in Scarborough, the leader, and the leader, and whatever the other the book, forecaster, the forecaster, and not to mention, of course, the Press Herald. And you know, we'd like to have you come. We'll give you coffee and a donut, <laughs> <laughs> and let us give you a, a, a press release. Huh? At least well, the leader really should be. I, I agree. I agree. And the I others would be conspicuous by not being invited. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, and and I think. Um, you know, there. Uh, Mike was. There, there were two reporters that covered the um, the kickoff meeting, so that was good. Um, you know, but I think it all. It does always help to wrap it up with a press release. Yes, yes. tells them what what should yep. be sh what should be thought about. Yeah, I think um, shape that hat. Okay. Um, and so just a you know a couple of other things. Uh, we did talk briefly about um, and, you know. Uh, hosting a little like self-help or, or uh, if you want to host a dinner party with your neighbors, you can ask these questions of your neighbors and have a discussion about Scarborough and you can just send us your comments um, mm -hmm. you know, for the meeting. So we just want to have a variety of, of low barrier things that can yeah. be done. Um, and I think it's just about making them available and announcing that we need to have them. So community events, um, you know, there's uh, going to be different events like the concerts and the summer fest, and um, I think we've got some uh, great 
ability to be out there in front of people and just talking about the common land. Um, I have to be in concerts anyway, so I might as well be doing double duty. Right. You miss the one day about you. I know. Well, I don't have to be in every one. My, I, I've got I, my my job is I have three of them that I have to. I have to well, I really out. like this vision committee thing. Yeah. Oh, that's it is Thursday night. night. Is there one tonight? Yeah, yeah. it's the Beatles. Uh -huh. Beatles. Yes. Should be hearing them soon. Yes, Lamont is a yes. Right there. There's a community service bus. I did this amazing wrong because I have to talk to community services to make sure that I'm not the right bus. Um, and schools, we do have the um, a school and business task force that we can tap into. Um, I've been chair that, so that's why I know we can mm -hmm. tap into it. Um, and that really is about um, engaging uh, students in in the schools to do various um, projects. Put mm -hmm. them on the bus. It's, that's a that's a great idea. Could I mean, volunteer hours? That will get them to go. Yeah, and I did have a. a Quick back and forth email with the superintendent after our initial kickoff and said, you know, thanks for coming in. You know, be great to get the, the schools involved in some way. And she said, be happy to talk to you when you have time. The last comment plan, I said this recently, we, we meaning the committee, mm -hmm. went on a bus and went around and looked at the areas that we were considering for view corridors. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The idea mm -hmm. of offering people bus rides to take a look at fill in the blank. I don't really have, you know, sure. it dawned on me, you know. Some of these groups take seniors, yeah. take seniors on the bus ride. Why not? Do you know what we mean when we say North Scarborough? Let's have a trip around North Scarborough. Right. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great idea. Main historic society. There you go. Um, yeah, anyway, schools, brilliant. And we are hoping to get them uh, engaged in, in doing some video yeah. work for us. Um, you know, get get the kids to um, the video. Yeah, tell us tell us what Scarborough means to them through uh, through short films. Yeah, great. Uh, and then Planet Palooza. This is definitely this is this is straight from um, you know our consultants. This is really what the Planet Palooza is going to be. So I think it actually winds up being four days, um, depending on uh, where you start counting. Um, so that's that's laid out. Yeah. Yeah. This is where the, that charrette piece yeah. comes in. I mean, really, as we've sort of talked about, leading up to that, our charge is really getting people excited and thinking. So they like. Which, you know, yes, we're taking in information, but really, a lot of the hard work is. Really, you know, trying to get about engaging up. hopefully hundreds of people for three days rather than twenty right. of people for three years. <laughs> you know, it's that different sort of philosophy, and hopefully, you know. So and that is a good answer. I don't know how you what you just said, but I, I heard what you said. <laughs> yeah. We have to watch it. <laughs> write, it, it yeah. write it down, yeah. and that is the answer to people who say, "What is Lorpic doing?" Okay, we're trying to build the enthusiasm. We're not trying to identify the questions. We're not trying to identify the issues. We're just trying to raise the enthusiasm. That's what we're doing. Right, right. That, I wish I thought of that when it was all happening. Because it worked really good. We did it with the Dunstan Project. And we tried oh, yeah. I mean, I think that's, that's what we're doing. But we're not trying to develop a comprehensive no. plan. No. We're trying to build the enthusiasm for people to Exactly. Your job is to hold our feet to the fire and the consultants' feet to the fire to make sure that we've gone out and talked to people. Right. You guys are the ones who are going to say, "What are you talking about? You've talked to five people. That's not enough." Mm -hmm. You know. Um, and right. So that's that's your main objective. Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. Four people. Seems to me. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It seems to me that every piece of communication that goes out to the public, be it email, paper, at the end of it ought to talk briefly about the Palooza, the dates where yes. please attend, your exactly. input will be used and so that every time Could somebody see sure. something, yeah. they get and hit in the face. Mm -hmm. it's just perfect. You have to drill. And yeah. three months to be that stuff, hard. Again, I'm very visual. This is stuff done in a way that is, uh, yes. you know, very bullet. Well, yeah, and I think our consultants are, are they're supposed to be pretty good at, do, at doing that. So we're going to hold we're going to hold them to it that they need to give us 
some engaging invitations that we can use and put them. Seems to be like a, coming soon. If yes. we're going to start having these meetings and, and having press releases and so on, yes. we want to have that pretty soon. Right. And I am thinking, I do like the idea that a, a postcard that has all of those, the plan of blue, the on it, right. as well as, here's how you keep in contact. I like it. Yeah, so that would be good. Um, and then we're sort of getting into, this is a little light because we're, we're you know, um, we'll work on this when we get the draft plan, but the idea is there'll be a additional public workshops, mm -hmm. um, you know, another joint council LRFCC meeting when there is a draft plan, um, and then we'll have open commenting on the, uh, on the plan via the website. Um, and and, oh. Just before you jump, I think it's worth noting, and I think we've said this at least once or twice, and I know our consultants said it when they were here, um, but I've also talked to some other uh, folks who have used these consultants and have been really happy, but it is, you know, they said it is very true, after Planapalooza, there's this dark period and people start to wonder what in the heck is happening? Where did these guys go? There's about three or four months where we don't hear from them because they have taken everything and they, they don't need us for that. You know, they, well, they're sitting and winning. Yeah. Exactly. So, and then they come back um, to us. You know, just questions. as a committee and as a general public, I think that's something we, another thing, you know, we just need to make people aware of that. Exactly. We are going to, yeah. we, you know, for the next few months, we're going to build into this crescendo. And then they're going to go away. The lights are going out. We'll be back. Promise. Yeah. So I just, it, I just say is to sort of keep it, yeah. keep it all in our minds. Because um, as I said, the friends I talked to, associates I talked to, didn't say, yep, yeah, that's, we knew dark. it was going to happen, but it still caught people off guard. Yeah. So. And the beauty of that, though, is they get a complete concept. You know, I think sometimes when you're in the thick of doing a comp plan and you're, you know, slogging through chapter by chapter by chapter, by the time you get to the last one, you can't remember what the first one said. Um, so the idea of getting this draft plan that's pulled all of these concepts together into a coherent, you know, strategy, if you will, is very appealing. You could even come up with, with um, comics, with sketches bunch of guys and gals around a table. What are you doing? We're working on the Scarborough Comprehensive Plan. Where did we go? We are, yeah. Bring it in when you finish making it. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. There you go. But, I mean, that's, we have people that can do that. Yeah, maybe put, maybe put it in the There's always somebody in a class. Put the newspaper. That's cartoons. Yeah. Yeah. Cartoons. We had one in our class. Did you wonder where we've gone? Hmm. We're working for you. Karen, the Planapalooza section talks about an open studio. Stop yeah. by the studio. Do yeah. you know what that where what that will be? So um, during the Planapalooza, they're going to have a, a team of about four to five people, and they're going to be working um, during the day. And anybody can drop by and sit down, see what they're working on, have a conversation. Will that be here? Or? Well, that's what we're working on. They, they require kind of a lot of space. So, um, we've talked to Cindy um, no, Taylor, Taylor. No, across the street who said that um, we could use the upstairs above the Scarborough grounds, but it may not be big enough. Um, so actually, yeah, this space is it's not creative. big enough, but it's kind of boring. A little boring. Yeah. Hmm. Um, and, and just to, you know, as Karen said, you know, they're available during, really with, during the day is what Karen, they're really available, on, you know, they said 8 to 9 or 9 yeah. to 9, 9 to 10. They you know, so if the lights are on, come in. You know, it's, it's, it's supposed to be energy. It's supposed to be people talking. It's not. And on the first floor. Well, uh, it's sitting in the elevator. Oh, um, yeah. Okay. Some place where the park hmm. I the main down medical center right there. <laughs> there. Well, what about the, what there. about the space in Martin's Point? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, or or or, or the main bed. They have a lot of space. But what about the um, the the credit union or whatever they are? Yeah. Oh, didn't we have a meeting there? We did, and they love us. They may be willing. I don't know how much space they. Yeah. yeah. They may not be able to want to commit a space for a week, but. Yeah. They have a great big foyer area. A lot of space. Very nice. Twenty-four tables or something. They wanted like twenty-four tables. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
24 tables this size. Who did? The Because they're going to be having stuff on every table that people can come well, in and sit down. Yeah, so so, so if they needed more space than we had anticipated. So we're working on it. Yeah. yeah. So I don't want to say that a couple of spaces have been suggested, but because we haven't talked to them, we don't. <laughs> Don't want them to find yeah. out. Amen. Hey, Martin Point. Yeah. yeah. Country. That's, those are good ideas. Yeah. Okay. Um, nice. So keep your keep your thoughts open. If you come up with a, a good idea, um, let us know. Of course, you want to be essentially located in this. Yeah. Area. Any Here big empty retail spaces up for uh, lease somewhere? There are that, that I can yeah. think yeah. of. Um, but yeah, that's yeah. essentially yeah. what they'd love to. That'll be space. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, that's, that's true. Actually, I don't think that would be big enough either. Um, I don't know yeah. how much that retail, empty retail space Feldman's doing. The other thing you might think about, about the the Feldman, that's what I was, yeah. yeah. But it's not really yeah. centrally located. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You have a drive there. Where you get well, there's going to be like um, Camp Ketchup would be, um, mm -hmm. but it's not as, you know, it's a long way to go for, for some folks to get Camp Ketchup. fairly good to find for they want a space basically for the week. For yeah. yeah. They would they, take, they take over. They take over. People in the library. Doors are unlocked. You know, 12, 14 hours a day. People coming and going. I and think it's wonderfully exciting. There needs to be some space for a and Why not? Why not the auditorium? No, the cafetorium. Something. Well, the uh, gymnasium. Well, the schools are uh, special. The in session. Oh, it's hard to invite the public into the school. I don't think they would allow that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the doors right. are locked and yeah. right. you can't get in. Yeah. All right, so hopefully okay. they're, they're not Well, we'll have to figure that out. Yeah, well, we have to exactly. yeah, relatively quickly. Um, but yeah, Cindy was very amenable um, and we just need to go through the space um, uh, above. Uh, there's 4,000 square feet. It's a matter of, um, she does have a tenant up there, but we need to figure out if, you know, how many tables we could put, put in there. What's happening above um, O'Reilly's? Oh, yes. Uh, there's that's there, there's somebody in there. Somebody in there. Yeah. But there's, there's nobody there. above Scarborough grounds right now except for she has one tenant. That's not, that I think that's a one person office. So, um, okay. so talk to her. That would be awesome if we could do that because it's such a right located here. above a coffee shop with an elevator for um, access. What about that light company? I mean, the lighting company that went in on high Again, it's not that close. If at all possible, we'd like it closer to central lighting company. Yeah. Horizon High. Horizon, Horizon Solutions. Oh, I don't know what they do. The electrical. Electrical, but Scarborough Downs is purportedly the center, you know, basic center of Scarborough. Well, actually, Jay suggested that Scarborough Downs a while back, and we thought, well, you know. That could be an interesting location. It's the other possibility would be either at the old Orion Center or across the street at, um, at a, you know, right across the street from Orion Center at the corner of Commerce Drive, the yeah. big white. Yeah. We used to have meetings. They have interest meetings. I just don't know if they have a lot of good space left. Yeah. Yeah. Is it yeah. fully tenanted out? Yeah. yeah. They're reversed. Actually, I just met over there today. They're doing well. Things are good. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Okay. All right, so we'll come up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then get a I big tent. That's that? not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad idea. A little idea. late in the year. September, you know. It's very it's risky. It's risky. It's risky. Yeah. 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 Well, it would go well with the plan of Palooza. We could have flags flying. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like a the big talk, you know. was so far away, you know, doing it in the barn. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. 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 Okay. So then um, we did want to lay out the committee structure and talk about the long range planning committee. And, you know, your job is about um, coordinating and, you know, ensuring that the outreach program uh, provides participation op options for as many residents as possible. Um, you're compiling and organizing, um, you know, and your resource for the staff and the consultants. And then we wanted to program out just a couple of months on the on the committee mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um, this may, may not be quite right but we wanted to get there um, by August 3rd 
we should have at least some uh, feedback from some of the groups that we've met with on um, community character. And I think we also wanted to make sure that we had, you know, a good 2006 summary mm -hmm. because we really are building upon all the work that was done in um, uh, 2006. So, and you guys know it better than anybody, so I think we're going to try to prepare a little bit of a a sexy summary for you, Susan, of the 2006 summary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really is there a yeah. concert in the park? Is that the last concert in the park? Do you want to be at the park? And, you know, something. Yeah, you want to the date? I, don't, I, I don't think we end. Do we go I, I'm August? thinking it may be at the end. end of July, but I'm going to go into August. Just, oh, look. Just because. Yeah. And then um, we really feel like the, there are two things that are going to be ready really soon in terms of really beginning to to look at um, different, you know, to look at how the information could be structured. Um, one of those is uh, the Energy Committee actually already has a plan and they've got a definition of sustainability and we feel like the sustainability piece is important for all aspects of it. Mm -hmm. So we were going to invite um, Carrie Grantham who works with the Energy Committee to really come in and talk about sustainability. Um, we haven't completely reviewed it, but we're reviewing and updating it. Okay. So, yeah. yeah, it seems like that's that's pretty crucial for you know um, as a filter for the work that we do. Um, so we wanted to continue to do that. Um, we also have the ability, I think, to do the economic and housing conditions pretty quickly. It's really about building trends um, and the demographics. Um, we wanted to run that by you just so that there's a um, we're good with a with a baseline sense of what's happened in Scarborough since 2006, and that's really a, a great place to start, and we think we can deliver that pretty quickly. Does uh, the first Thursday of the month make sense to folks, mm -hmm. generally? Yeah. Thursdays really are very committee heavy, it seems, so. Didn't we, didn't we have some that wanted a little later, though? I thought I thought there were some that wanted a little later time, but I may be mistaken. Later time, as in start. later in the night. Yeah. Okay. So those dates would then be what August third. We used to have our September seventh. Yeah. yeah, he's got them. And then October fifth. Fifth. All eight of them. Yeah. Well, do we meet after the plan of Palooza? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think we meet after the plan of blues, you know, certainly for a debrief, a debrief if nothing else. Yeah. Uh, it can be less than one yeah. Yeah. to me, but right. I right. all of those dates work for me. Okay. Yeah. Um, just be sure we check on the time. Yeah. Well, let's, wait. let's decide. Do we want to do 6, six I kind of like 6 to 7 30. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I a sandwich. Okay. Well, how about that? We'll put it. 7.30 is okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you have a hard time getting your own, you can be okay with me in regards to retirement. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and then lastly, we, we definitely wanted to give structure to the committee board, uh, what we're asking the committees and boards to do. Um, and we want to make it simple. The committees are at all different types of levels. We go from the energy community that actually has a plan uh, that they work through and adopt, you know, to other committees who are really not um, in that type of uh, doing that that level of specificity. So what we want to do is um, we're going to do the all board summit in September, early September, the first week, uh, and we want to give them a compilation of some of the community character discussions that we've had over the summer, um, give the boards a chance to really talk about um, community character, and then their assignment is really these types of, uh, of um, questions. Um, they should um, look at the community character discussion, they should provide any additional comments that they want from uh, their perspective on community character. We're going to ask them to review the 2006 comprehensive plan because there's so much richness there by all their different standards and we want to make sure that they're not trying to recreate the wheel. Um, and then we just want them to give us a simple um, outline of their major concerns um, 
regarding their area of specialty with a 10-year horizon. We're not asking them to do goals, objectives, and all of that. We're just saying, tell us where the good spots and the bad spots. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And again, some folks will have a lot more detail than others, and that's great. Um, but we don't want to make people spend like six months doing it on that. This is one meeting for them to have. Um, again, you know, if they've collected any baseline data um, in their specialty, you know, we'd like them to give it to us. But if they haven't, don't worry about it. Um, and again, if they've got specific goals and strategies, awesome. But again, if they haven't, that's okay. We're not asking them to do that. Um, and it, you know, so we're just trying to make it simple. This is really the committee structures are a way to get a lot more people involved in the plan. Um, and as it is a way to tap into some of their specialties, but it's also a way just to get them involved in the greater community vision. And then last, we've really put together sort of just a basic timeline, um, you know, that really just uh, goes through um, the draft plan process. Uh, and so that's really on paper to make some of these revisions. Do you ever sleep? Like that. Hmm? Do you ever sleep? Not well. <laughs> this is amazing. Really, it's amazing. Um, is this all know. board summit sep different than the other com the committee all no, committee summit? Okay. This is the, the same board. one. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so one of the things we do want to um, talk a little bit about with uh, with respect to that summit is. Um, we've gotten a request from, some, from a neighborhood association to participate. And I think where we're coming down on that is um, for clarity, the all board summit is really the town boards, the town mm -hmm. boards that have a town wide view of a topic. The neighborhood association, we want to hear from them and we want to give them just as much access, but I don't think that the all sub board summit is the right place. I agree. Um, I agree. So if that makes sense to you, I think that's really the, the uh, uh, place that we would we would put them in. We're, we're willing to meet any neighborhood association um, to document and to hear their input. Um, so yeah, that's the basics. Um, you know, again, I did give you a copy of the direct comments from the. Mm -hmm. um, if there's, you know, if there's anything somebody wants to talk about, but I um, just wanted to have, make sure you have those. And then the last thing we wanted to talk about, update, can we move to the topic day? <laughs> What's next on the agenda? <laughs> Thank you. Rick, you missed it, David, our acting chair for the evening. Oh, good. <laughs> and maybe on an ongoing basis, if you can. Yeah. 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 So where are we now? Uh, I'm guessing we're review engagement. Engagement? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Engagement tools. You going to drop the thing and show it to us? Or? Well, I thought about that and I thought, these guys are probably better go home. Um, <laughs> so I was going to run through the tools real quickly. Okay. And then, um, again, we're doing training on it next week. And so we hope to have a draft site out to you um, so that you can look at it. Um, it's like I said, the site is being built as we speak. Um, so this is this is from a company. I love the name. The company's name is Bang the Table. Bang. <laughs> I love it. Yes. So Bang the Table is the name of the company that, that um, wrote the software, and the software is called Engagement HQ. And what they do is they set up um, again a separate website. And in this case, for the next year. The website is going to be all about the comp plan. Um, we, it'll be branded separately with a. Um, we're, we're looking at you know names. We don't. This is not. We don't want to give it a comp plan um, U, uh, URL or name because we hope to continue to use this tool after the comp plan for other projects that need community engagement. Um, so we're looking at you know something like. Scarborough Speaks, Scarborough Boys, Scarborough for Me. You know, so if you guys have any good suggestions for a URL, we would be happy to take that. Um, and again, it'll be a separate website. And the idea of this website is one, 
not to overuse the word, but engaging, um, very visually oriented, lots of pictures, and then they have some really great tools. They've got some traditional tools like polls. We can put out a single question um, you know, on a weekly basis if we want to, uh, that people can come in and they can fill out the answer and then they get immediate feedback you know, of what the percentage of respondents to date have said about that. It also has a survey tool, so you can do um, several mini surveys if you want on different topics. Hmm. Those are not instantaneous like a poll is. Those are more um, uh, opinion oriented and we collect the data and um, for a period of time and then we, we can put it all, all together and we can, we can certainly post results. Who will monitor this? So that is one of the beauties of this website is that it comes with a third party monitoring. So we actually have a, person. Yes, uh, a live person, not just a, um, a uh, algorithm. Yes, exactly, exactly. So um, it's monitored for libel, it's monitored for language, and um, it's monitored for some you know, basic civility. Um, so, and it's not us calling the shots, it's their standard, um, oh. you know, mm -hmm. like it. somebody outside the town, not even in the state, I don't think, who will be 24-7 on the No, no, no. Do you want a name for this site? We do, we, yeah. So I got one. Yeah. Scarborough Engaged. <gasps> oh, that's pretty good. I like that. I mean, that's for the... Mm -hmm. Yeah. The one word, scarborougage.com or dot org. I like it. Who didn't like engaged? Or didn't I like it a lot. Scarborough engaged. Dot org. Dot com. Dot org. org. Yes. We might buy them both. Just we have them. Good. I really yeah. like it. Yeah. 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 We think about we it. We talked about like Scarborough speaks, but I think I think actually it doesn't it it. Um, Scarborough Engaged. I like Scarborough Engaged. Scarborough Engaged. Yeah. Yeah. Connected. Okay. Very nice. Very good. I just have this thing that keeps popping in out of my brain, and that's photos. Credit. If there's something that's being done in terms of, I don't know, the video or whatever that can be projected. I don't know where yet, you know? I mean, during all of this, people stop and look at photos, pictures, Absolutely. and if we're going to be doing something that we want people to look at, I mean, that's why I love that getting on the bus and going and looking yeah. at vistas open, just so they you can see something. People yeah. like to look at stuff. Right. They like to look at themselves. Pictures, yeah. Well, stuff. interestingly, one of the, there's, there's several different tools we can choose from. We don't have to use them all, but we have some uh, available. Um, you know, we've got the traditional polls and surveys. They also have um, a, a tool called Places, which actually pulls up a map, and somebody who's, who's using the site can drop a pen and say something about that site. Like, I can hear, I go here regularly. Like Google or, Earth. Yeah. yeah. We need, you know, we need a park bench here, or yeah. something like that. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. This is very it. exciting. I know. I'm I mean, this is like a major leap forward in terms of using using today's technology. I kept thinking to myself, why are we doing more? Yes, yeah. well, this is incredible. Yes, yeah. it's wonderful. And they do have like an idea, but it's called you know the big idea. And somebody who's got an idea, they can they can hit that button, post their idea. Uh, who's, gonna, who's going to watch this? So again, for any slander or anything no, like that, no. but that's, that's, we'll pull it out, plus our, this is, um, our consultant um, uses this. As a matter of fact, they're the ones who pointed us toward this particular. And if I send something, who's going to let me know that they got what I sent? Oh. You're going to see it. You're going to see it right there. And just, you know, we, we, in order to use the site, you do have to register. You've got to identify yourself. You've got to, you've got to submit an email um, so that we can see, we can, we can okay, decide to ask any type of... That really cuts down on anonymous... That's mm -hmm. exactly. Exactly. And we can collect information about, you know, in order to get them access. 
However, I think we want to be somewhat careful. The more information you collect, the right. less likely somebody is going to want to post. Right. So really, I think what we would do is something like um, submit your email, and uh, you know, we can ask for their address, or we can ask for what area of town, or something like that. So I think we're going to work with the consultant tomorrow to talk about mm -hmm. best practices for that. I'd come to a special meeting just to hear about that. That's yeah. right. <laughs> well, come, if you, anybody is interested, you can come tomorrow at 1.30. Yeah. Uh, that's when we're doing it. Um, so again, the, the ideas, the places, um, surveys. Forum is really for discussion. Like if we wanted to post a discussion topic, and as long as you're a registered user, you can go post under that and tell people what you're thinking about that particular topic. Um, there is a section somebody wants to post a question to us, they can post the question. We can also post a question specifically to some, you know, to the general public and they can uh, fill it out. Um, the guest book um, keeps it simple and they can, you know, that's where they um, will sign up. Um, people can also submit stories. If they have a photo or a special fun that they've had in Scarborough that they want to share, they can actually um, uh, tell us a story. Historical Society, we should get on that one. Get some of the oldest, yeah. older folks in town and tell a story. Yeah, exactly. With a photo. Great. <laughs> I want to be in charge of that. Yeah. Um, so these are the types of well, tools right, that, that, that's right, yeah, <laughs> that we're going to have available. And they're just, you know, it's, da it's both daunting like everything else. It's both exciting and, and daunting. But done well, we could have, a, we could reach people that we will never get to a meeting. Did we purchase this or acquire this separate from the consultants or did they recommend this? Or how did they we recommended it, but we required it separately and mostly because we wanted the, uh, we wanted the control mm -hmm. um, and we wanted to make sure that we could use it adequately so that we can continue to use it in the future. Okay. Yeah. If we went if we just had the consultant do it, then it wouldn't we wouldn't own it and we wanted to we wanted to own it. Partly for public records. Um, uh, one of the nice things about this aside from the monitoring, my favorite part. Um, the the um, the site keeps a a legal public record for us um, that can be submitted. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, so there's just, and it also does its own um, analytics. Partly, I've looked at engagement tools before, um, but they've always been a, a little bit complex. And this one was a consultant suggested, and I, we really liked it. And they've used it over and over. They've been uh, very happy with it, and I, I, I like somebody else's recommendation. So, Good. Okay. that was it. Amazing. So we're done? I think we are. We don't. Public comment? Public comment? Yeah. So the uh, Thursday, first of Thursday, how, I, I just put it in right through the end of the year, but do you anticipate? Let's, I would say let's look at it because I think there's always going to be something that can be done mm -hmm. um, on the comp plan. And the beauty, if we look at it and we don't need the meeting, it's just a little bit So right through December. Sure. So next one is August. Yeah. And then, um, what about what are we doing on regular? Yeah, you're still gonna be. So one of the agendas for the regular meeting, one of the things that um, Angela Blanchett just brought to me is hopeful that she can um, come to this committee with in late July is around the um, uh, Phillips Brook Watershed Management Plan. She would like to, they've done their sort of data analysis, and so in the next three weeks or so, we're going to start crafting policy recommendations, and so they're not quite ready fully for prime time, but it's like to bounce it off someone before bringing it mm -hmm. to back to the neighborhood. Um, so she was hopeful that July 28th, the Long Range Planning Committee, that's a Friday, would be able to get together with the there's a steering committee as well for the Long Creek, uh, sorry, Phillipsbrook watershed. That's a lot of staff and um, some others. You know, there's a member from the conservation commission, member from planning board, might be board, all I know, <laughs> 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 or students. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so that's what. Um, if you are all so inclined, it would really be more. It would be less of a 
regular long range planning committee than what we might be mm -hmm. used to, and really something that's being driven by Angela and um, mm -hmm. others. Mm -hmm. So, probably do our 8 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. thing. It's, mm -hmm. You know, she was really looking for who was the right group to engage with this. Wow. Well. Um, and so, the answer is always one. So, is that our next always morning one. meeting is the 28th? Because I, I didn't make that. I think I don't have my book, otherwise, I could tell you. I believe that was. Don't even know if we came up with a schedule for our next morning meeting at that, because we really talked about doing the evening meetings, and the Hagen speech thing was largely put to bed. We do still have an issue to work on on that, but you know, I think we can, you know, a little bit of soak time on that. You know, we need to get through actually adopting. Actually <laughs> adopting. So, so I think you know we'll probably pick that up again in either late September. Uh, so the only Friday morning meeting currently scheduled is the 28th. Correct. And that's when we will have the... Um, we'll talk about those. Good. Partnership. Perfect. That works for votes. Yep. That would be wonderful. Ah. Uh, it's so cold. It's awful. It's very cold in this room. Thank God I keep this blanket in my closet. There you go. I really do want to congratulate you. That's an enormous amount of work. And it's uh, all of you. All of you. As, I was start, as we started and we got to that first part, outreach and engagement program objectives and things, it's so boring. <laughs> it's very boring. And how in heaven are we going to turn that into a program? Well, yeah, it did. It's a wonderful day. There you go. There you go. So one personal thing on yeah. my agenda, um, you probably haven't heard this, but Kathy Mills announced Friday that she's leaving. No. Um, her last day will be the 28th. Oh. She's oh. going to work for Farmland Trust as their development. Oh, and they, need, they will love having So you. it's going to take a lot of my time between oh, now and oh. July 28th. July last day. So wow. we're already deeply into having an exit meeting with her, having a special board meeting, talk about the process, get the ad together. So it's going to, I don't see it as, if these meetings are 6 to 7, 30, it shouldn't be a problem, but I, I'm not going to have a lot of free time because okay. I just got to take charge. Well, so good luck. As Judy pointed out to us, we should officially ask for a motion to adjourn. Yes. Motion to adjourn. I'll second that motion. Problems in favor, right? And that's, that's public now, so we're not in it.